Hey everyone, just wanted to show you the fastest route for completing bounty contracts to acquire completed bounty contracts. So this is the fastest route. So what you want to do is you want to press Control G and grab the event travel, quick travel mission. And as long as you never complete this mission, you could keep auto transporting straight back to the Cartel Bazaar. So you never have to use your fleet pass, quick travel to the bazaar. All you do is click that. And you can abandon it at any time and just regrab it over and over again. So the fastest route is without a doubt doing drum and cost. The other planets, the shady characters, and all the bounties are too far spread out. So all you want to do is grab drum and cost. And I'm gonna mute my audio for a second. All you wanna do is take the priority transport capital world. Because instead of using your galaxy map to transport there. By taking the Capital world, world uh, Transport, it's going to put you right in Cost City. So you're going to be just a few paces away from the contact you need to meet. And it is just the fastest way to get there. It'll save you two minutes. So you can see we've already hit the Cartel Bazaar. And now we're already going to be in Cost City when we load in here. So here we are. We're in Cost City. And obviously, the contract dude is right over here. It's that simple. Now, if you've done... The swoop event, running Razor's Kickstart, just gives you mount speed, so it's even faster. You'll notice I have no gear on. You don't need any gear to do this. Spacebar that conversation. Just make sure you have your companion out. See, I have no gear on, but it doesn't matter. So, having a stack of these items makes it so that the shady characters have a higher chance of actually giving you information instead of just using the interrogation probe from the mission. And as soon as you hit someone, you do not care, you just walk straight away. It does not matter. I sniped that one from that guy right there. You're gonna know some in combat, I don't care. We're just gonna walk away. We don't need that one. Cause we're gonna just keep going on to the next one and the next one. And it's just faster to do, to do it this way. We're already out of combat, it doesn't matter. We just click all these guys. If you get in combat, they're just gonna reset after like 60 meters. And you're just gonna go back and forth clicking these two items. If you care about light side or dark side points, obviously you're just going to want to stick to using the, the you know, light or dark, whichever side you care about for your character. But you have chances throughout this mission, like the, the conversation after you acquire four uh, informations, you get like a light side or dark side option. And I've noticed that usually equalizes the points. So even if you use dark side on a light side character, it does not even matter. Like this character's light side, but I'm hitting the dark side one. This is all you gotta do. We're already at three or four. And this is like an unusually unlucky run. Usually you would already be at four. But most people never hit these shady characters because they're really far away from the cantina. Boom. We've done it. Now we just quick travel to the cantina room. No combat. Don't need to do anything. So then do this quick conversation. If you're worried about using the interrogation probes of your light side, just hit the light side option. It's going to equalize all your points out. Now just open your map and you're going to see the missions right here. It's going to be somewhere on the map. So what you want to do is you want to take the closest taxi, if you don't have the map unlocked like I do, and just take the transport over. And then you'll have it forever. So I saw it was here, so I'm going to quick travel to the wall. It's that simple. So for fighting this guy with no combat, obviously you're gonna need a heroic moment. So plot a companion. You know, DPS is recommended because the companion can basically one-shot anything on drum and cost for you, which is really nice. And all, all of these bounties are really close to every single quick travel. So this is even faster if you use the swoop tactical you get as a reward from that event. But I'm just showing it without the swoop tactical. And it's assumed that most people at this point who are farming bounty contracts have heroic moment unlocked and i've done all the class stories so you'll see how much of a joke it is to fight even without gear on so i'm just gonna get in combat i have my dps companion this thing is out my companion's just gonna one shot it i'm gonna pull up my heroic moment force choke i'm gonna force lightning see it's already halfway dead and it's done just like that Again, use the Capital Ward Transport. It's faster than using Quick Travel because Quick Travel is a long animation. You see this instantly ports you and we're already back really close to the 
to the contract, dude. It's that simple. No other planet is like this. So Imperial side is faster for doing contracts. But if you're Republic side, if you have a lot of Republic side characters, the second fastest planet is Voss. I'm actually going to show that in another video. So if you have a bunch of Republic side characters, you'll see a video of how to do that. So again, I abandoned that mission. I'm going to click, I'm going to click travel and I'm going to be ported right in front of the mission container. And that's the fastest way to get there. You just keep abandoning and grabbing that mission again. It's for the Kingpin. Kingpin are worthless to do. They don't give anything extra except reputation and achievements. But if you're just going for the contracts, you don't need that at all. It's a detriment to do those because they cost five to buy on every character. Turn in the bounty contract and we're all done. And you're going to get one of each of these. But they're really cheap from this vendor here. I bought like a stack of 5,000 of them. So, you know, you don't need to buy 5,000. But... Yeah, you get the point. And then you're good to go. I put these all in my Legacy Bay, and then I just go on to my next tune. You do this every day, you could get, you know, hundreds of these things, because the vendors are really expensive. It's like a thousand. You need to get everything, and you can no longer buy them from the GTN because they're stuck in your currency tab. So, yeah.